Welcome to a SIM code. It's time to code smarter, not harder. Like, subscribe, and keep learning with me. Object-Oriented Programming, OOP, is a programming paradigm based on the concept of objects. These objects represent real-world entities and have two main components. Properties, attributes, these are the characteristics of an object. For example, a car, object might have attributes like color, make, and model. Methods, functions, these are actions that the object can perform. For the car, object, methods could include driving, stopping, or honking. This C++ example defines a class car that models a car with attributes such as make, model, and year. It includes a constructor to initialize these attributes when a car object is created and a method display info to display the car's details on the console. In the main function, an object of the car class, myCar, is instantiated with specific values for make, model, and year. The program then calls the display info method to print out the details of the MyCar object. The example demonstrates the principles of object-oriented programming, OOP, such as encapsulation, constructors, and methods, by encapsulating data within an object and providing functionality to interact with it. Include the standard input-output stream library for input and output functionality. This allows us to use standard library functions without needing to prefix them with std colon. Definition of the car class. Private member variables, attributes, that store the car's characteristics. These cannot be accessed directly from outside the class. Stores the make brand of the car, for example, Toyota. Stores the model of the car, for example, Corolla. Stores the manufacturing year of the car, for example, 2020. Constructor this is a special function that is called when an object of the class is created. It is used to initialize the object's attributes with specific values. Parameters are passed when we create an object, for example, Toyota, Corolla, 2020. Set the make attribute with the value passed in the constructor. Set the model attribute with the value passed in the constructor. Set the year attribute with the value passed in the constructor. Method function this method is used to display the car's information. It does not take any parameters and it is called on an object to show the car's details.
Output the car's details to the console using the Cout statement. The Cout object is used to print data to the screen, and NL prints a new line. Display the make of the car. Display the model of the car. Display the year of the car. Main function. This is the entry point of the C++ program where execution starts. Create a car object called MyCar and initialize it with values for make, model, and year. The constructor of the car class will be called with these values. Arguments passed are Toyota, Corolla, 2020. Now call the display info method on my car to display the details of the car. This will print the details of my car to the console. Return zero to indicate successful completion of the program. Now run our code. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe to stay updated.